Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a huge Primark haul. My first Primark haul since lockdown. It is a good one. I spent 165-ish pounds. So if you're interested to see what I got, then just continue. new here welcome my name is Juliet and I do three videos a week on all sorts I do lots of beauty fashion and lifestyle so if that's the kind of thing you're interested in there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere I would love for you to click that and stick around it's completely free and entirely up to you but without further ado let's get into this long awaited Primark haul so before I get into the haul, I just want to say to you that Primark have done amazing with their safety procedures, with obviously everything that's going on at the moment. There was a really good queue to get in. There was hardly anybody there. I actually went because there was no queue. There was hand sanitizers as you walked in. The baskets were all sterilized and then the checkouts had screens on them. And they were taking refunds at all the desks because, because there is only one entrance to go in and one exit to come out of and only one set of tills open and they've got markers all on the floor and honestly it was I felt so so safe so if you're worried about going I can tell you it is really really good and it was so nice to get out <laughs> it was so nice to get out and just do something that I wanted to do I love Primark I've missed it so so much and I've got so many amazing things to show you I cannot wait to start so let's get straight into it so you have to bear with the little road noise today because the wind windows open is absolutely frying here in the UK today but I'm going to start off with, with a sale item and accessories there's not many and then we'll get straight into the good stuff I also bought some things for my boys so I will leave that right at the end in case you haven't got children or you're not very interested I'll put that at the end of the video so first of all let me show you this now this is the only homeware piece and it was an absolute bargain and it is these pillows. These were actually in the sale and I bought four of these. So can you imagine, I was trying to lug all this round with everything else that I got, but I could not resist. These cushions are 59 centimeter squares and they are gonna go perfect in my new living room eventually when it's done. And I saw these pillows, they've reduced from eight pounds to three three pounds the cushion inside would be worth more than that so yeah i got four of those the only accessory that i picked up was this belt so it is like a woven cream belt it's stretchy Let's see if we can get it up close it is stretchy and then it's got this really lovely kind of bamboo type buckle and gold hardware i absolutely love it it was five pounds and i just thought this would be perfect to go with so many of the things that i have bought and then lastly on accessories just a couple of bits and bobs from the beauty section i've got these ombre frenchy gloss nails i've actually got a pair on because i bought two pairs so these are what they look like on i have changed the shape a little of them these are only one pound fifty i used to love the stiletto french fade ones that they did but they didn't have those in and yeah i love primark false nails last ones i put on lasted me three weeks so i'll leave a video that i made ages and ages ago now about how i put my primark nails on if you're interested so yeah i've got two packs of those one pound fifty each and then I also picked up my favourite eyebrow pencil. So this is the Brow Sketch. It's really great. It's got a spoolie on the one end and a micro tipped eyebrow pencil on the other. I buy mine in shade brown and these were £2 each. So I bought two of those because luckily I had just run out the week the Primark opened. So that was lucky. First of all, I picked a bit of casual wear up. I picked up some more joggers. I don't know if they've changed the size in this or whether, no, I haven't lost weight, but I bought a medium in these. These are the ones I always get. They've got pockets and they are five pounds and they are just the cuffed. I love joggers and a bodysuit and I've got a few bodysuits that are gonna go beautiful with this. So yeah, that is the first thing I picked up next i picked up these shorts and i have this style of shorts i've got them in gray and black and i absolutely love them and i saw the new ones come in they've got so many colors they are folded up on one of the tables and these are just two pounds fifty i loved these because they're almost like a waffle kind of material with the white stripes the 
tie belt actually works and also what's really good is they're longer at the back so they don't like show your bum off which can be a bit you know nobody wants to see that so yeah i bought these i bought them in a medium they're really nice and comfortable really to size and they had so many colors i'm definitely going to get back and get another couple of colors but i just really liked that color i thought it was different finally in activewear i picked these up i really liked these because they're giving me like the vibes of the adidas leggings that i really really wanted a pair of but they're also like 35 pounds can i really justify 35 pounds on a pair of leggings so they've got a tie waist they've got a stripe down the side but they're like leggings now i bought these in a medium and they were only six pounds i think i'm gonna have to take these back because they're very like baggy around the crotch area and yet yeah, they just don't fit tight enough but i really do like them so if they've got a small i might try them but i think they will be returned now i'm gonna whiz past this item because it is a pair of jeans now i've always raved about primark denim but i don't know what has happened recently the last three or four pairs of jeans i've bought i've had to take back these were some i really still haven't found a pair of white jeans that i like they're a skinny high rise and they've got buttons all down the front and they're really thick nice quality denim and they've got a ripped bottom now i don't know whether i bought the wrong size but they are too long for me. They don't seem to come in different lengths by the looks of it. But I bought a 14. I just managed to get them on. I mean, I know they're put on a bit of weight. But honestly, I normally wear a 12 in their jeans. And these, I just could, I could just about fasten. So yeah, big fail on these. These are going back. But they are very good quality. If you did want any jeans like this, I suggest sizing up. Also, I always used to love high-waisted jeans. I always wore them now i've got a mum tum i'm finding that they aren't the most flattering jeans for me to wear because i just you can just see my pouch so i'm gonna have to just change up the style of jeans that i am wearing as well if you're interested these were 15 pounds so now let's move on to a couple of tops well body suits so these are very similar to the ones that they sell in zara and that is why i had to get them so this was the white one it's kind of like a racer is it called racer like neckline i don't even know how you explain them oh you'll see in, in me trying them on anyway but this is so so see-through so they were five pounds each i bought them in a medium now this one it they're, they're really soft they're almost like a lycra lycra material but they are so see-through so i've put nipple covers on to like try to help but you could see my tattoo through it down the side you could see the label it, it was very see-through but it is very comfortable so i'm very tempted to keep it still the one thing i did notice is the one i picked up clearly someone's tried it on because it had makeup all over it which wasn't me i promise and um, so yeah i got it in white i also picked it up in black because i love wearing black and i do think that this would be great for going out as well when it comes when it gets a bit cooler in the autumn so yeah i bought the back black again in a medium and finally i also bought a khaki color i know i've bought three but i love a bodysuit and these are so comfortable i can't even explain so these were five pounds each i bought them all in a medium they also had like a pink blush pink one and then they also had like a peach one with black polka dots on it which was quite nice but i thought you know three's enough three's enough juliet last of the bodysuits i promise i picked up this sky blue one and in all honesty i think this one is going to go back because i'm not a massive fan with how this fits and i have to take some things back because otherwise i would have no room or money <laughs> but it is this really nice sky blue ribbed bodysuit so it's got a beautiful square neckline and spaghetti straps and then at the back it goes down so it's almost like a swimsuit style and it is really lovely but it was six pounds i bought it in a medium and whilst it is a lovely color i was just not 100 percent sold i have to love an item to keep it so this is going back but i think this would be beautiful paired with like a white um chul skirt or some white jeans yeah i think that would be lovely i also bought myself a bikini top while i was in there so this was just four pounds which you can't beat the prices of the bikinis in primark but it's just a little bandeau bikini top it's almost like a ribbed material and then it's got a detachable halter neck on which i'll probably take off but 
you know if you do need a bit of support it's good to have that loved this for four pounds and i got mine in a 14 it fits just about right i'm an e cup um a 30 probably about 36 e now um and this fits really nice so yeah 14 i picked up this next up i picked up some really nice jumpsuits now i'll show you the one that i originally loved and this was the one i was going to keep but i'm thinking now out of the two this might be the one i take back however it is beautiful let me just sort the buttons out so just in case it doesn't show up very well on the camera it's like a tan and a navy and like an off-white stripe it's got these it's got a v-neck and these buttons all the way down the front and it is like collots on the bottom so they are and it isn't all the way to the floor it's probably this one comes to me not mid shin maybe between my shin and my ankle so yeah i really love this it is so comfortable like the material is so light and airy and yeah i love it but it's not very figure hugging so it does it isn't the most flattering thing that i've worn so i will show you a picture i still love it it's still really comfortable maybe if i'd have sized down it might have flattered me a little more but then i'd be worried that the buttons may have pulled too much but i got this in a size 12 and this was just 13 pounds which is such a bargain so I'm glad that I picked up this one. So this one is a different kind of material. It's thicker. It's it's like a thick linen, this one. So the other one's like a crepey material, but this is thick linen. And I like that because I don't think it will be see-through, even though it's white. Still would wear white underwear with it, but I don't think it's going to be like invisible it's got the beautiful buttons down the front and i love how the stripes go like diagonally into the buttons there They're, the straps are a little thicker i think the wider straps flatter me having wider shoulders and then again it's like a baggy collapse now this one is a little shorter than the brown one um but i would say it still kind of comes a little lower than mid shin and it's also got a tie belt around it as well this one was 15 pounds and i bought it in a size 12. next up i bought like a really nice t-shirt dress i actually thought this was a t-shirt and then when i've tried it on it's actually a t-shirt dress and it's really nice stone color i'm all for it this season it's got beautiful turn-ups on the end of the sleeves and i know it's just a basic tee but i think this is so nice because you could wear it with white trainers in the summer you could pop a belt on with it and also you could wear it in when it gets a bit cooler by just tucking it tucking it into some jogging bottoms so yeah i was really pleased with that and i got this in a small it is very oversized and that was five pounds getting on to some of my favorite pieces now so i really went in there for some linen shorts I've seen these everywhere and I really wanted some and as soon as I saw them I was like they're coming home with me they are this beautiful paper bag linen shorts and they've got like a nice tortoiseshell button on there they're elasticated at the back which we like and just the one button on the front these were eight pounds and I got them in a size 12 and they fit perfectly absolutely perfectly i love these i think i'm gonna wear these a lot and then to, to go with these i actually bought this top and yeah i saw it and i was just i have to have that and it is this beautiful knitted top like knitted crocheted top so this was just six pounds it's got really nice thin straps and a v-neck at the front and it's v-neck the same at the back as well and then at the front it kind of can you see it's like it's the opposite of a dip hem it goes up in the middle as opposed to down so yeah i really really loved that and even though it's got like these holes in it doesn't don't get like nipple poking through or anything it's like quite a tight crochet so you're all right i did put nipple flowers on with it anyway to try it on but yeah i loved that for six pounds and it goes beautiful with those shorts speaking of those shorts i then went over into the short section and saw 
these these are almost identical to the linen ones apart from they're a different fabric but these were only five pounds they've still got a beautiful paper bag waist which is elasticated and the tie bow just no button and a different material but honestly these fit just as nice and these were three pounds less than the linen ones they had these in so many different colors i almost bought the mustard um but i thought you know i was going a bit crazy but they also had like a pink they had a cream but i really wanted the linen shorts but they also had um a really nice uh blue color like not a sky blue a bit deeper than a sky blue yeah beautiful shorts and they were all just five pounds i would highly recommend these these are so comfortable and light definitely worth every five pounds they were and lastly before moving on to the kids clothes i will just show you that i bought a couple of jumpers i know that it's not the weather for jumpers but i actually saw my friend jess buy this back months and months ago before primark closed down a few people bought it actually and it is this jumper and i saw it and i picked it up there was only mediums left and i got it and it was five pounds i've got it home and i've tried it on and it's a little short for me like it doesn't fit my figure as nice as i would have liked so i'm probably going to set take it back but i do love sweatshirts and this is very i feel very like expensive looking for primark and um, my friend jess actually bought this when we did the zara dupe challenge probably back in february now and finally i bought this i just got beauty and the beast vibes from this I loved it. I thought it was just really nice and plain. It's like an off-white with just a black square and a black stenciled rose in the middle. I bought it in a large, which is what I wanted. And I, this, again, was just £5. The sweatshirts, you cannot go wrong. They're really beautiful. They're really good quality. They're fleecy on the inside. And yet, yeah, you can't beat a good sweatshirt. So I picked that up in a large and it was five pounds. Okay, so that was everything I bought me. We got about three items for the boys, which I will quickly show you. I picked up some boxes for Leo. These are so good, you know. Five cotton rich trunks for six pounds. That is so, so good. They completely grown out of all their underwear in lockdown. So I was so happy to be able to grab a few pairs of those. And then I also bought Leo these tube socks. I mean, how cute are those? Three pounds, there's three pairs, a grey, a white, and a are they navy and a navy pair. But they are such good quality, really good. They've got the breathable bits, breathable panels in. Yeah, three pounds for three pairs. And then next up for Lucas, he really needed some shorts and t-shirts because bless him, all he had was joggers and jumpers. And I bought him this three pack of t-shirts, little guy, big waves. And then the other one has got this beautiful Hawaiian print on. And then the third t-shirt is just grey with the same printed pocket that was a three pack and they were just a five pound fifty for the three you also needed some shorts if you need to get some shorts for your little one honestly their range is so cheap so these little shorts i got in three pairs this is the color of um what did i just say the shorts this is the color that the shorts were in this blue so i got him this little pair of shorts with the white stripe on the bottom on the edge be mindful that these aren't a real tie because i've had to stitch his other ones like take them in a bit i also got in the red ones with the white stripe and then also the khaki blue ones with khaki blue the khaki green ones with the navy stripe and tassel these are just one pound 30 a pair they are amazing not long ago i bought him like a blue one with palm trees on they were also 130 and they had all the t-shirts to match for one pound 20 so you really can't go wrong because they're in and out of clothes that fast at this age you just can't beat them because people always say yeah but they don't wash very well but with my kids they're, they're, i've probably washed them three times and they've grown out of them so i just think you know for £1.30 they're amazing little bargains and they're on those shelves again that you that they stack all the clothes on so wow that was a really long haul I tried to get through it as fast as I could because there was so much to show you but honestly there was so much beautiful things in and I've missed it so so much so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know as always what your favorite item was and if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care
Bye.